Oi gente, tudo bem? Uh, I'm Moses, now Cactus Moy, and I got that name because I live in the desert. There are a lot of cactus here, a lot of cacti. I think technically the plural of cactus is cacti, but what I whatever. <laughs> um, so this is the third video. And we're gonna continue from what we were talking about last time, which was phonetics. Now we're gonna talk about phonology. Phonology is the study of relationships of sound in language. That means how many consonants can you have um, one after the other? How many vowels can you have? one after the other. So language sounds have a pattern, and these patterns are what are studied in phonology. Now I'm gonna use the word rules, but they're not rules that linguists made up. They're not rules that someone said, this is what's happening, this is what you have to do. These are rules that you made up, rules that I made up. These are rules that people don't know exist, but we follow them every day. and. So to give you an example of this, I'm going to use two English examples and one Portuguese example. Uh, the Portuguese examples are difficult for me to find because it's difficult for me to read academic Portuguese. So for phonology, there's vocabulary you have to know that is way too much to teach in this short video. So in English, we have something called nasalization of vowels. That is, a vowel becomes nasalized like how it would in Portuguese. But the main difference being that in English, new nasalized vowel has, has no meaning. It's just something that happens. So we have nasalization of vowels. That is that if a vowel comes before a consonant that's nasal, the vowel becomes nasalized. So a consonant that's nasalized is N. Mm. Mm. I can't make it if I cover my nose. That's, that means it's nasalized. And in, the, in this example, we're gonna use the word and. And is actually, the A is nasalized. It's not and, and, it's and. Normally people just say and. And in fan, it's also nasalized. Fan. Fan and fan. Fan, 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 and fan, 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 fan. And a lot of people are might say, no, oh, that's not what we do, or that's impossible, no way. But that's what they do. They just don't know it. And if you, and it's funny because you can't really study yourself. Because once you start to think about what you're saying, you're gonna change the way you speak. So you have to do it on someone else. Like I was talking to my friend Honey, and I was saying, okay, I want you to say these words and I want you in Portuguese, but don't think about them. As soon as you read them, record it and say it. Because if you start to think about it, you're gonna be like, wait, let me say this really proper and it changes the word. It changes how the word is spoken. And another example is assimilation. Assimilation is when one sound becomes very similar to the sound after it. Now let's take because you in English, just because you. Now when we're speaking naturally, it actually becomes because you. The z from because and the y from you actually kind of come together and form one word. We don't say because you, we say because you. When we're speaking fast, naturally, it's because you said this. And that's a, that's a new sound. That's assimilation. And in Portuguese, it's something actually very common that you probably already know that you do. And, but the, the name in English and in linguistics for it is called epenthesis. That means you're adding a sound in the in the word. And so Portuguese does this to break up consonants in a row. 
that means one consonant following another. Like psychology, it's psychologia, not psychologia. You guys put the e in there. Psychologia. So this is what phonology is. It's rules made by us that people are just noticing. And they're saying, hey, this is what happens. And they can take these rules and apply them to new words in, in Portuguese or English, let's say, and predict how the word will sound to a, to a native speaker, how they would say it. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.